What consumes your mind controls your life. If you can't control your thoughts, you can't control your actions. Our thoughts are so powerful that they are capable of turning a dream into reality. They are mixed baggage of our past, emotions, and fear. Our thoughts create our days. Our life decides our vibes and triggers our feelings and behavior. Our mind may involuntarily produce intrusive thoughts that can be distressing or disruptive. These thoughts may be negative, disturbing, or even irrational, leading us to attempt to suppress or avoid them. The mind can fool us into procrastinating on important tasks by generating excuses, distractions, or feelings of self-doubt, preventing us from taking action. Our mind often engages in self-critical and negative self-talk, undermining our self-esteem and confidence. This inner critic can control our thoughts, making us doubt our abilities and worthiness. Our emotions can overpower our rational thinking in moments of intense feelings like anger, fear, or sadness. This emotional hijacking can take control of our actions and decisions, leading to impulsive or irrational behavior. The mind can get stuck in a loop of repetitive and often negative thoughts, constantly replaying past events or dwelling on worries about the future. This cycle of rumination can feel like an attempt to gain control over a situation, but it often leads to increased stress and anxiety. The mind might try to control unwanted thoughts or emotions by suppressing them, pushing them out of conscious awareness. However, doing so could backfire because suppressed thoughts might later resurface with even greater intensity. The mind can engage in compulsive behaviors or rituals as a way to gain a sense of control or alleviate anxiety. This is often seen in conditions like obsessive compulsive disorder, where repetitive actions provide temporary relief from distressing thoughts. Sometimes the mind projects its own fears, insecurities, or negative traits onto others. This can be a way of avoiding self-awareness and attempting to maintain a sense of control over one's own shortcomings. The mind may push for perfection in various aspects of life, attempting to control outcomes by setting unrealistically high standards. This can lead to chronic stress and a constant sense of never being good enough. God is far more interested in changing your mind than changing your circumstances. We want God to take away all of the problems, pain, sorrow, suffering, sickness, and sadness. But God wants to work on you first because transformation won't happen in your life until you renew your mind, until your thoughts begin to change. Our mind is one of the most powerful tools to create wonders in life. If utilized properly, it turns out to be an obedient follower, on the other hand. If not manipulated correctly, it can also be the most dangerous master in your life. Lord Buddha once said to enjoy good health, to bring true happiness to one's family, to bring peace to all. One must first discipline and control one's own mind. Controlling the mind begins with the mastery of controlling one's thoughts. If you can't control your thoughts, you can't control your actions. Our thoughts are so powerful that they are capable of turning a dream into reality. They are mixed baggage of our past, emotions, and fear. Our thoughts create our days. Our life decides our vibes and triggers our feelings and behavior. Our mind is a multi-dimensional consciousness and thus it becomes important to mold our thoughts and point its attention in a particular positive direction to achieve peace of mind. Learning how to control your mind begins with the realization that the solution lies within us only. 
Let's master our own mind with some easy tricks to achieve lasting contentment and peace in our life. Negative thoughts can contribute to problems such as social anxiety, depression, stress, and low self-esteem. The key to changing your negative thoughts is to understand how you think now. And the problems that result then use strategies to change these thoughts or make them have less of an effect. If you realize how powerful the thoughts are, you will never give room to negative thoughts. Being optimistic about your abilities and yourself is the first step towards success and achieving control over our minds. Sometimes our mind is occupied by negative thoughts and we are unable to control our thoughts and emotion. That is where positive thinking comes into play. In such difficult times, try to create scenarios that are in your favor. It engages the mind by cultivating a positive physical state. As you constantly try to mold your thoughts, they become intuitive. It becomes easier to control your mind when you grow positive intentions in your thought process. The Buddha's formula for the highest effort is worth remembering, not to let an unwholesome thought arise, which has not yet arisen not to sustain an unwholesome thought which has already arisen, to arouse a wholesome thought which has not yet arisen, to sustain a wholesome thought which has already arisen. <coughs> the quicker we can become a master of this effort, the better. This is part of the training we undergo in meditation. When we have learned to quickly drop whatever is arising in meditation, then we can do the same with unwholesome thoughts in daily living. When we are alert to an unwholesome thought in meditation, we can use the same skill to protect our mind at all times. The more we learn to shut our mind door to all negativities which disturb our inner peace, the easier our life becomes. Peace of mind is not indifference. A peaceful mind is a compassionate mind. Recognizing and letting go is not suppression. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe and share it with others who may benefit from these insights. Together, let us embark on a journey of self-improvement and create a positive impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. Thank you for watching.